Here are the materials required for the end-to-end -end vascular anastomosis module. First, place the linear balloon on the nails. Use your scissors to cut the balloon in the middle. Then, use the alligator clips to secure the balloon. The balloon ends may stick together, so you may need to roll them in your fingers to loosen them. It is helpful to envision a clock face when approaching the anastomosis. Shown here is 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. Begin by loading the needle backhand. Starting with the vessel end to the operator's left, place your first suture bite at the 3 o'clock position from outside in. Reload the needle backhand, pull the suture through to half its length, and have your assistant shod the opposite tail. Your assistant can now begin to follow you to provide tension. Take your next bite from inside to out at the 9 o'clock position at the vessel end to the operator's right. Be sure to grab the needle from below the loop of suture to avoid locking your stitch. Reload your suture backhand and take another outside to inside bite with your bite coming towards the operator. You will now begin to be able to load your needle forehand and take your bites in one. Continue running this stitch towards the nine o'clock position of the left vessel end. You will notice we are using a pitch and catch technique where the needle driver passes the needle to the pickups prior to releasing. This allows for better control when sewing on moving tissues like the heart. As you approach the nine o'clock position of the left vessel, sewing towards yourself will become difficult. When this occurs, take a final bite from inside to outside and shod the working end of the suture. Now, using the opposite end of the suture, load the needle forehand and begin to sew towards yourself. Take the stitch in one if you are able to. After taking your final bite, tie both ends of the suture together using square knots. Cut your suture leaving a tail and your end-to-end -end vascular anastomosis is complete.